So, going on to the basic anatomy, let us see here, you can uh, make out that this is the right side and we have the right ventricle on this side. This is the left ventricle and this is the left side. We have these two atria and uh, we can make out until unless there is a situs inversus, usually the right atrium is on the right side and the left atrium is on the left side. Now, the other thing we have to see that whether the two atria are connected to their respective ventricles or not. The right ventricle should be connected to the right atrium and the left ventricle to the left atrium. Now, how to make out that? Right ventricle is smaller than the left ventricle. That is one thing. But the more important thing is that the right ventricle has a moderator band, this moderator band which is close to the apex. And even a more important point than this is that this leaflet, the septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve is more closer to the apex compared to this leaflet of the mitral valve, the anterior leaflet. Now, this condition where the right atrium is connected to the right ventricle and the left atrium to the left ventricle is known as ventricoatrial concordance. Now, many times when there is situs solitus, which is a normal thing, what may happen that the right atrium may be connected to the left ventricle and the left atrium may be connected to the right ventricle. So, if the right ventricle moves from here to here, the moderator band will also move and this leaflet will also move. So in that case, the left side leaflet close to the septum will be closer to the apex. Now, this is what I already told you. Moderator band is one thing and the leaflets have more apical insertion. So these are the two main points by which we can differentiate right from the left ventricle. Another thing is that it is much smaller and it has a triangular cavity. Now this is what I have already told you about the ventricoatrial concordance and discordance. Now, out of all these four chambers, the left ventricle is the largest in transverse dimension. The two atria and the right ventricle have almost same transverse damage. Now, if you see to this picture, this is a, a depiction of the two chamber parasternal short axis view at the level of the two ventricles, the right ventricle and the left ventricle, and this is a interventricle septum. Now, let us see how the segments are demarcated. Now, if you see to this picture, you know up is anterior and down is posterior. So, here we see the anterior thing and here we see posterior thing. And this side is lateral. And this one is also referred to as inferior one. Now, septum has two segments. You can see here, this part of the septum will be having two segments. One, the anterior one, anterior septum. Then this is closer to this inferior area. So this is the inferior, inferior septum. And then these are the other portions of the walls. Here we have anterior, down, posterior, also referred to as posterior inferior. This inferior is also referred to as free inferior one and uh, this is the lateral one. So why is important because if you remember this picture it will be easier for you to make out the various segments. Now let us see this uh, picture. This is a four chamber view and uh, just see this line here depicting the four chamber view 
segments. Now, if you see to this four chamber view, we know that one part will be the lateral one. So, this wall is referred to as lateral wall. We have the three portions of this, the basal lateral, the mid part of the lateral and the apical part of the lateral. Now, the other one here, you can see the septum here. So, the line you can see is cutting somewhere between these two, anterior septum and inferior septum. So, we have roughly one third base as the inferior septum and this upper two third is the anterior septum. So, we have this portion anterior septum from here to here two third and this is the inferior septum. Now, this is a parasternal long axis view. See in this case, again just see the line. The line was here. Now we rotate it 45 degrees and we get the long axis view. Now what do you get? Anterior septum and posterior inferior wall. So this is the septum here and the septum has to be anterior septum only. So this is the anterior septum and this is the posterior inferior wall. Now, in this external short axis view, let us see here, same thing. Now, this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle and this is the interventricle septum. So, septum again, this part of the septum will be the anterior part and this will be the inferior part. So, inferior septum, anterior septum and then this is the later one, this is the posterior inferior wall or posterior wall and this is a free inferior wall. So, uh, this is uh, something uh, in brief about the segments. We uh, will tell you more about the segments when we talk about uh, the coronary artery disease and all.